Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we were searching the pool. We found a couple of very interesting things just floating on the surface an inner tube and a scrap of fabric. Now, I would just like it pointed out that that scrap of fabric. It's the same shade as Karumi's dress. Now, yes, a lot of the students have black in their design. However, Karumi, her dress, it's, um, it's more of like a grayish black. And this scrap of fabric is that same shade. It's not definitive proof. However, combined with all of the other stuff that we've found, it is... Things are pointing towards Karumi for me. Things are definitely pointing towards Karumi. Now then, let's see. What what else do we have to look in here? Um, we've we've looked at the windows, uh, the rules. Some pool rules are posted here. There's one that I find peculiar. There are also some specifications written here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I was I was planning on um pausing the recording and going and looking up the specifications before the trial started. Oh, thank thank you, game. <laughs> thank you, game, for giving them to me here and now. Um, okay, so let's see. The pool is 82 feet in length and 39 feet wide. The pool side is 13 feet on each end, and the left and right sides are 8 feet each. Oh. That would be... 47? 39 plus 8? I'm not, I'm not strong with maths. Yes, that is simple addition. I don't do maths. My brain does not compute numbers well. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that would be 47. Yeah, I, ooh. The cable is 50 foot wide. You'd have to tie it onto both ends. So let's take a foot off for that. And the windows are on a diagonal. That's going to increase the length you would need. I... If it was 47 feet straight across, then, like, yeah, that'd be doable. But on a diagonal, like, you would be cutting that extremely fine. Extremely, extremely fine. You know what wouldn't quite fine though? The rope. There's the um, the rope in the gym. It's 65 foot long. That would be able to very easily cross that gap. I ooh. But then again, we we still have the same problem. How would you be able to secure it? Because you'd, you'd still need... I get, I think... My, my main thought right now is just, is the pool building locked? Yeah, you can't go in the pool at night time, but is the building itself locked? We know that the gym is locked, but I don't know if this building is. And if it is that you need to fashion some sort of grappling hook. Wait, wait, no, oh. I... Oh my god, I... I've been doing the same as the students. I've been doing the exact same thing as the students, I... The students were so focused on Himiko's trick. They have they have grotesquely overcomplicated this case because they're so focused on how did the trick work? How did the trick work? The trick is immaterial. It doesn't matter how the trick worked. It's all a smokescreen. It's all a, a distraction, an illusion. How did Ryoma get into the tank? Oh, well, we've got to figure out the trick. No, it's it's real fucking simple. He just dropped in with the piranhas. 
everyone is so focused on the trick that they're overcomplicating the solution. That's exactly what I've been doing. That's exactly what I've been doing. I've been overcomplicating things by, oh, well, you'd need a grappling hook and this, that, and the other. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't at all. All you'd need to do before you left the gym, before it was locked, you'd tie the rope onto that window and just drop it down. We know that Karumi spent about 30 minutes talking to, um, uh, what's his face, Kokichi. And then for another 30 minutes, they played tag all around the school. Now, Kokichi didn't have, didn't always have his eye on Karumi. She could have wandered off. In that time, she could have wandered over to the Ultimate Tennis Pros Lab, secured the cable to the window, and let it drop. Track down Kokichi. Yeah, I'm coming to get you. Blah, 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 blah. Run into the pool. And then all you'd need to do is attach the rope to the cable. Go back out. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm chasing you. Blah, 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 blah. If the pool is locked, then it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All you'd need to do is go back to the Ultimate Tennis Pros Lab, grab hold of the cable, and hoist it. You wouldn't need a grappling hook, you wouldn't need amazing aim, you wouldn't need this, that, or t'other. All you would need to do is hoist the rope up. There's no need to overcomplicate this. Sometimes the simple answer is, oh my god. I get, I've, been, I've been doing exactly what the students have been doing. I've been overcomplicating this. I've been really overcomplicating this. Nah. Nah, she'd have the time while she was running around to do all of that. And like I said, by, by the time, as long as the, the rope is connected to the cable, the doors being locked doesn't matter. You could just hoist... Oh my... And, and that creates a, a purpose for both the rope and the cable. That creates a purpose for both items. I, mm. The pool side is 13 feet on each end and the left and right sides are 8 feet each. There's something bothering me about the pool rules. They say... Well, well. Oh, no jumping into the pool! Especially at night time! Whoa! Whoa, where'd you come from? itself is fine. If you want to jump in front of a car or a train, that's on you. No, no, no. But the pool is off limits at night time. See? No swimming at night time. That's... That would be a violation, right? Hey, um... If anyone violates a school regulation, a campus-wide siren will blare. And then that person will be ripped apart by the exosols. What? You, you'd go that far? You think he wouldn't? Oh, yeah. Well, so far the siren hasn't gone off, so no one's needed to be ripped apart. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> um. Since that's the case, can we assume no one was in the gym or pool at night time? Well, at the very least, no one alive. Yet yeah, we're, we're not being told if the building itself is locked. We're not being told, but I, either way, if you could just attach the rope to the cable, it doesn't matter if the door is locked. I just dinged my mic then. I, I apologize if you heard that. But yeah, just, just attach the rope. Attach the rope to the cable. Lift it. If the doors are locked, it's irrelevant. No swimming at night time. That just might play into this case. Pool rules have been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, we have the diving board. I, I doubt this is important, but we'll, we'll check it out just in case. It's a large diving board. It looks like something you'd find at a resort. 
nothing about it has changed. This doesn't look like a normal school pool, more like a pool at a resort. The pool is deep, but it isn't filled up all the way. Still, plenty of water to swim in. The water level hasn't changed, but I can see something floating in it. Anything else? Anything else? Um... Yeah, we, we check the windows. There's also, um, yeah, the, the pool storage. This is the pool's equipment shed. I'll take a look inside, just in case. Huh? Is that... An electric air pump? I see, you could easily fill a large inner tube with this. There doesn't seem to be anything else worth inspecting. Hey, so... Hey, Shuichi, does this pool really have anything to do with the case? We got all psyched up about it, but it doesn't seem like there were any clues here. But... Well, that inner tube is still bothering me. I don't know what it tells us, but I feel like it's related to this case. But you know... But, you know, if that inner tube is related to the case, the culprit is pretty careless. If it was related to the case, why didn't they clean it up? Uh... We, we were just told why! We were just told why! Were you not paying attention? So... Just leaving it sitting out like that! Don't you think that's straight up careless? No. No, even if they wanted to put it away, they couldn't. There's no pole or anything around here that you could use to get the inner tube. Remember. The water level is so low, you couldn't grab the tube, even if you did manage to bring it closer. But you know... Then why not just jump in and fish it out by hand? Oh, that's right. They couldn't get in the water. It takes him a minute. It takes him a minute. Couldn't get in the water. Yes, I suppose you could think of it that way. You know... Well, we can't stay here forever, right? Let's go check out the other places. But we have. All right. There's no time to waste. Isn't that right, sidekick? You're right. Yeah, sure. Well, we, we have checked out everywhere. We we left the gym, we got the okay to leave the gym, and then we were told to check out um, Himiko's lab, Ryoma's lab, the pool, and Ryoma's room. We've gotten the okay to leave the pool and Ryoma's lab. Um, to be fair, I didn't really check anything in Ryoma's room. We went in, we're like, oh, the, the, the pad isn't here. And then I just sort of left. Normally they, um, they say, normally there's a, a thing saying, okay, we've searched everything, we can go now. Like, hmm. I'm pretty sure I checked everything in Himiko's lab. I spoke to Samugi and Kokichi. I investigated every piece of equipment in that room. So yeah, it, it has to be here. There's something we're missing in here. Okay. Let's see, what do we have? His closet and his bed. Anything else? Th there's the monitor, but that's probably not important. Okay. I should investigate here as well, just in case. When I opened the closet, I discovered several identical sets of clothes, just like Ryoma wore. Hmm. Just like my room. Ah. Yeah, my closet's like this too. It's packed with nothing but my uniforms. Hmm. Really? It must be the same for everyone. That's right. There's no cubs pad here, so the culprit must have taken it. And the bed? It's a normal bed. It looks like the one in my room. 
I don't see the cubs pad here. Nothing else out of the ordinary either. Um... Kokichi's just not normal. Jeez, what a pain. Let's go! Well, forget about Kokichi. We gotta focus on the investigation. Let's move on. And we're still not getting any notification like, yeah, you've searched everything here. But th there's literally nothing else to search. We we've been told we finished with the pool, we finished with the gym, we finished with Ryoma's lab. Not, uh, unless I did miss something very obvious in Himiko's lab. I'm not... Maybe, maybe we're supposed to go back? To confront Himiko? You know, we, um, no, I went the wrong way, damn. But yeah, we, we found the spare tank. Like I said, I... I can't think there's anything I missed in Himiko's lab. I looked at literally everything, aside from the monitor. I spoke to everyone. My, my best guess is that maybe we're supposed to go back and confront Himiko like, oh, we, we figured out how the trick works. There's a, there's a, whatchamacallit, a secret panel. What's the matter? What's the matter? This isn't related to the case, right? We don't know when the class trial's gonna start. We can't just be going on a walk. Okay. Ah, true. But I've explored everything. I've explored everything. I've spoken to everyone. Well, I guess... I guess that's technically not true. Um... M Marky wandered off. She said that she was going to, uh... I'm, I'm not entirely sure what she was going to do, but she said that she had no interest in, um, in investigating. Yeah, I, I spoke to Kokichi. I spoke to Samugi. I've looked... I was like, what are those golden sparks? No, it means I'm hovering over it. Okay. Yeah, I've looked at everything here. I swear down, I looked at everything. Can can we find Marky? Is Marky even around? Um Let me see. Where where be the map? Show me the map. Um Can we uh excuse I would I would like there we go. Oh, hello. Hello, and is this the only... There we go. Okay. Okay, so Maki and Karumi are up on the topmost floor. Okay. Okay. I mean, yeah, I, I guess we should try and see if she has an alibi. I doubt it because Maki tends to hang about on her own. That's that's the only thing I can think of. We've spoken to everyone besides Maki. We've been everywhere we can, unless I've missed something. Come on, careful, careful. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. I'm I'm bumping into everything. I'm bumping into everything today, it's fine. Shuichi's just gonna end up. You know, he's gonna go to the trial and he's gonna be bruised black and blue blessing. So if, if this isn't where I'm supposed to go, I'm gonna be very confused. I'm gonna be very, very confused. Okay. Um, hmm. You know what, we'll, we'll speak to Karumi first. How's your dress looking? How's you dress? No obvious tears, but then again, she has she has a closet full of identical clothes. Hmm. Huh? What are you doing, Kia Karumi? Do you agree? 
We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person present, yes? As she spoke, she glanced towards Maki. Hmm. Ah, so you're staying with Maki. Got it. That's good thinking. Hey, once we're done with the trial, can I get a massage? I... Dude, stop giving her... I... 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 I mm. This... This could be what drove her to murder. This... If she is the killer... If she is the killer, this bullshit is probably what drove her to do it. That's good thinking. Hey, once we're done with the trial, can I get a massage? May I? But of course. Since you're here, Shuichi, may I ask you a question? The time of death was not provided, so I am questioning everyone in order to determine it. What do you think? When was the last time you saw Ryoma alive? Uh, um... Right before I was kidnapped by Gonta yesterday. Around six in the evening? So... The last time I saw him was way before then. I didn't see him at all yesterday, actually. Then? Then you are fine, Kaito. What's important is the last time somebody witnessed him alive. Hey! The last time someone witnessed Ryoma alive? That is correct. Gonta was the last one to see him alive, at around 8pm yesterday. Ryoma managed to avoid being captured by him using his Shikuchi method. So Ryoma was still running around after I got captured? Yes, of course. Furthermore, 30 minutes earlier, Mew saw Ryoma as she was fleeing from Gonta. With her vibrator? Hmm. In that case, Gonta's testimony is highly credible. Yes. Yes, we at least know that Ryoma was alive yesterday until around 8pm. Witnessing Ryoma has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Okay. And you, my dear. Hey! Maki, what are you doing here? Hmm. Um. Earlier, you said you weren't going to help us investigate. Were you serious about that? So what? You'll be fine, even if I don't help, right? You're the detective, not me. Or do you think you can't solve this case on your own? Uh, um... That's completely different. This is... Haha! <laughs> Haha, <laughs> that's pretty harsh. But my sidekick is working his ass off. Please, someone kill this man. End my suffering, please. Huh? Sidekick. Got it. Yup, Shuichi's my sidekick now. Hey. Shouldn't it be the other way around? The dumb one should be the sidekick. I love you now, Maki! Maki is now my favorite! So... <laughs> the dumb one? I'm more of a scientist type of guy. So this stuff really isn't my thing. Again, science and detective work tend to go hand in hand. That's why we have forensic guppins. That's why we have all that shit. I... Mm, well, wouldn't being a scientist be really helpful for an investigation? You know... More importantly, why have you been here the whole time? Is there a reason? Like I'd know. Why do you care? No. Because it's been bothering me. You've been in here ever since this room opened up. Almost as if you're keeping watch, making sure no one else enters. It's a meth lab. I'm telling you, it's a meth lab. Hmm. I don't understand. Is this an interrogation? No. Uh, no, that's not what I'm trying to do. I just want you to talk to me, Maki. If this has nothing to do with the case, please tell me so. Hmm. Hey! It's true that you don't have to help us if you don't want to. Is that alright? But you should at least cooperate with our investigation. Because? Because all our lives are on the line. Is that so? Even if I did cooperate, I wouldn't be any help. Mostly because I've been in here for the last several days. I've only gone back to my dorm at night to shower, including last night. Hey! Then, can I ask you this? Did you see Gonta at all last night? 
Hunter was searching the grounds last night, trying to capture all of us. Why? How were you able to avoid being captured? She's using those meth dealer skills. Meth dealers are sneaky. She's using those skills. I see. Gonta did stab by, but I managed to chase him off somehow. All I did was tell him. If you lay a hand on me, you'll choke to death on your own tongue. That's all. Hmm. So Gonto got scared off by that? Well, I guess he would hold back against a girl. No, it's because Gonta's got common sense. Gonta's got common sense. He was like, oh, no, fuck that shit. I'm not dealing with that, bollocks. As I listened to Maki's testimony, a question grew in my mind. Why did Maki not want to leave so badly? What reason did she have for that? Hey. Are we done here? You're wasting your time talking to me. I don't know anything. Ah. Okay, I'm done here. Huh? Huh? You are? That's right. Well, her alibi is a little shaky, but I don't think she killed Ryoma. That's what my instincts are telling me. Hmm. Hey, so... But if you remember anything, be sure to tell Shuichi, okay? I believe in you. He's my sidekick, you know. He's pretty good. Better than you. Mm. In the end, the only thing we were able to get out of Maki was that she was here the whole time. But no one else can verify that testimony. That might be a problem later. Maki alone has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Oh. Already tired of investigating? Oh, you've been tired of it for a while now? Oh, not at all, not at all. I love investigating. Well, that's how it goes. Investigations aren't all that fun, you see. Now, I disagree. I disagree. This is one of my most favorite aspects of the game. I, I tend to have the most fun during the investigations. But it's a necessary step before we can move on to the main event. Kind of like searching the internet for that perfect porno video. Didn't expect him to say that. I, I, okay. Oh, uh, no, no, brain, don't go there. My, no. <laughs> My brain, just this dark, twisted voice that- What do you think his kinks are? What is his perfect porno? No brain! No! His probably feet- No! Stop! Not moving on! In fact, some people think the search is the best part. Weird, huh? Anyway! It's the anticipation. It's the anticipation of all the clues, all the porn, whichever you're searching for. The class trial is starting soon. Please gather at the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. <laughs> See you later. Shuichi. Looks like it's time, bro. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Dumbass. Hey, why do you look so worried now? Don't worry about it. Don't worry. You can do it. You can do in it. What is that? Don't worry, you can do it. I believe in you. That makes me feel worse. Believe in me? Why? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaito? There's a chance that I'm the cult. Idiot. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? Huh? What? Listen up. Isn't that why you believed in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but... I believe in you. If I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. Hmm. Shuichi! Shuichi, we're still young. I can't die before I've had my first drink or gone to space. Let's do it. If you're not going to get yourself in gear now, then when? Now's all you've got. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Kaito, I know. Keep your chin up. Yeah, that's the expression I wanted to see. Huh, that's my sidekick. Ugh. He's right. I just have to do it. I have to believe in myself. 
I have to believe that I can do this. I'm going to survive. We're going to survive together. Hopefully Kaito not included. I j just, just get rid of him. Get rid of him, please. That's it. Maybe I don't really understand it. Maybe I don't have a reason. I don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. No, I want to live. I want to live a long life. I don't want to die. I can't die in a place like this. Never. Okay. Okay. And away we go to the trial grounds. Now, I'm before we begin the trial, I'm going to give my final theory as to what I think. I'm not talking to you. Piss off. <laughs> Just let me go. Where are the stairs? Where are the stairs? Yeah, I'm going to give my final theory as to what I think happened. I think Karumi did it. I think Karumi did it. All the clues we've found, everything we've seen, it all points to her having seen something, and yet she's not coming forward to say that she saw anything. In which case, she must have done it. If she's not coming forward to say, like, oh yeah, I saw some weird shit, then why, why hide that? Your life is on the line. Why hide that? Unless it would implicate you. That, that is Kaito, isn't it? Yeah, it, yeah I'm not speaking to I, I just want to get this over with. Please tell me he's not going to, you know, have us be his sidekick in every trial. Please tell me that isn't going to be the case. I really hope it isn't. Um, okay. So yeah, here's, here's what I think may have happened. So I, I think that Ryoma may have been killed after nighttime. In which case, I think Karumi, there was a certain degree of premeditation here. I think that Karumi, she attached the rope to the window of the gym she dropped it out she then met up with kokichi and whilst they were playing tag she used that as an opportunity to prep her way to get back into the gym she goes to the tennis pros lab she takes the cable she wraps it around his window drops it down into the pool area she then goes into the pool attaches the rope to the cable she then leaves you know mucks around with um uh kokichi for a while you know bish bash bosh whatever she is then able at a later date or at a later time shall we say to go back into the tennis pros lab and hoist the rope up hoist the rope up attaching it to the window that way we have a direct line we have a direct line to get into the gym now i think potentially i think the reason why she did target Ryoma, I think he may have had her motor video. So far, that is the only evidence we are being presented with as to why Kirumi would go after Ryoma. Either, I think either he had her motor video, I think potentially, potentially the, the motive could be far more personal, potentially Kirumi was a maid for the mafia family that he took out. And, you know, like, their last order was like, oh, avenge us, avenge us. And she's taking this as the opportunity, like, oh, he did it. I have this long-standing order, so I'm going to take him out. Or, um, I, I think it's, I think potentially it's one of the two. I don't think it would turn out that Karumi secretly was related to the Mafia family because they, they already did that with, um, Fuhiko, you know, being the, the ultimate, um, Yakuza. That would feel very much like, oh, they're just doing the same plot line again if Karumi turned out to be Mafia herself. So I, I think it's either that he had her motor video and it was something very incriminating. So she was like, right, I need to get rid of him. Or potentially she used to work for the Mafia family and she has this long standing order of if you ever encounter Ryoma Hoshi, take him out for us because he's, he's killed my entire family. I think it's one of the two. At some point, she beats him over the head. He had that crack that has to be involved. So I, I reckon she beats him over the head. And she, maybe, maybe they agree to meet in the lab. Maybe she just spotted him out and about and snuck on, snuck up on him. Either way, she, she beats him over the head. She handcuffs him and she drowns him in the, uh, in the sink. 
in the Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab. He is now dead. She then takes a, um, an inner tube. She, she would have, again, if the, if the pool building isn't locked, then I don't need to be so secure on my timings. But if it is locked, then earlier on, she got an inner tube, brought it up to the Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab. She then secures Ryoma in the, in the inner tube and she sends it down. She sends it down the rope. So now he's over by the gym. She um, climbs along the rope. However, I think her dress got snagged in the window frame. I think her dress got snagged in the window frame. And then as she was traveling over the pool, that strip of fabric broke off and went into the pool. She is then at the gym. She is able to put Ryoma in the, um, in the piranha tank. She's taken a pane of glass and she's used that to separate out the tank. So the fish are all in the front part and Ryoma is in the back. Now, I think potentially what happened is while she was untying the inner tube, it fell into the pool. And as as it was discussed earlier, there's no um, there's no uh, pole. There's there's nothing you could use to grab that stuff and drag it out of the pool. So she she just had to like leave it there. She left that there. Um, that'd be a question. How would you get the rope back into the gym? Then again, does it really matter? Does it matter how she got the rope back into the gym? I guess technically speaking, she um she she could have done it, you know, during the night, you know, detach the rope, and then this morning when everyone came to the gym, you know, she could have said, "Oh, I'm I'm making some last minute adjustments to the curtain," and then she just put it back there. No one would notice that. No one would notice that. I'm a little iffy on the cleanup. I'm a little iffy on the cleanup, but I think roughly that's how it happened. I think. I, I've really enjoyed this investigation. I've really enjoyed this investigation. A, a common trait in all of the previous games is that the protagonist would be there for a lot of the setup. So we'd have a front row seat to all of these clues, and then by the time the um the the murder happens, you were able to go like, okay, what are all the clues we have? Ba 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 ba. And you could solve things like like that. You could solve things within the first five minutes of an investigation because we saw all the clues as they came up. But the fact that Shuichi was off at the insect meet and greet means that we didn't see any of the setup. I've really enjoyed trying to piece together the clues as they happen. I've really enjoyed that. This was a fantastic case. I loved it. I loved it a lot. Everyone! Is everyone ready? <sighs> Not like we have a choice, right? <laughs> you are quick to understand. It's though Monokuma has you trained. What? We got nothing to worry about, right, assholes? We will figure out the culprit, won't we? Don't worry. Of course we don't need to worry. The top suspect is super obvious this time. Hey! Right, Himiko? Yeah. <laughs> How dare you bully Himiko, you degenerate! You want me to Aikido chop your head off, huh? Wait. That's not even Aikido anymore, is it? Either way. This matter will be discussed in due time. You should save your arguments until then. That's right. Yeah, let's put an end to this at the class trial. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let, let's go. Let's go, I'm excited. Rumble, rumble.
The door appeared before us with pomp, as if sending heroes off to war. After a pause, we all stepped towards the door. We were silent. All I could hear was our unsteady breathing. Just as we passed through the door, it started up again. I'm a, I'm a just grab that. Thank you kindly. Normally, I wouldn't mind the shaking. But I'm feeling especially sensitive to it now. Each of us felt that trembling through our entire bodies as we sank further still. Without sure footing, I'm positive I would have fallen as well. My breathing was becoming more ragged. My heart pounded harder and harder. Just when I thought I would pass out from the nerves. The elevator came to a stop. But this wasn't the end, no. It was only just beginning. Welcome! Welcome! You've hopelessly arrived once again! Hmm, did you want to come here because of how wonderful it is? Isn't it wonderful? I put so much effort into building this place. It should be a monument. Ah. Actually, we're the ones who used the Exosols to build this courtroom. But Father just took all the credit. Wonderful. But I am happy to be used as a slave by Father. What are you saying? You idiots are really committing to this henchman bit. They're so cute. You guys are just so cute that I can't help working you to the bone. <laughs> you put a lot of elaborate detail into this courtroom. Almost like it's for show. Oh? For show, huh? That's an interesting way to put it. Hmm? Is this just for show? Are you showing this to the people outside and... <laughs> Boo -hoo -hoo. Those people aren't with us, so you don't need to worry about them. Get it? They're not with us. As in, they're no longer with us. You know what I mean? Hey, um... In other words, you 13 are the only ones left in the world. Now, show me just how you intend to bargain for your lives. And on that line, I am going to bring this episode to a close. In the next one, we get started with the class trial. But until then... Please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.